What does Eddie Van Halen, Alan Holdsworth, Chris Buck, and Eric Johnson all have in common? Each one of them palm their pick when they want to go finger style with the right hand. Now guys, obviously there are many, many other guitarists that palm their pick and I really just chose those four guys because those were the four guys I thought, well, I wonder what they do. But since there's loads of people who do it and there's virtually nobody explaining it, so I figured that I'd just be the one to do it. You know, initially this video was going to be a short and it was going to be a quick tutorial on how to palm your pick. And then I realized that there are many ways to palm a pick and I just figured we were going to make a video about this kind of minutia because, hey, this is a great thing to geek out about. And you might find that there's a better way to palm in the pick than what you've been doing in the past. Or if you don't know how to do this at all, this is the video for you. So I decided to look at a few of the greats and see how they palm the pick. And I figured out of those four heavies and this way that I came up with, you are going to be able to have your hands full or your palm full of pick. So we have Eric Johnson here and we're going to see the pick switch happening right here. Um, and then he's going to do his harmonics. And then he's going to do a couple more octaves. And then switch back right there. You do have to make a little bit of an adjustment depending upon the size of the pick. I wanted you guys to see this Fred Kelly pick which plays and sounds great and those dots really grip so you got to do a little bit of work to make the pick go to where you want it to go in your palm. So all these examples are filmed from an overview which is exactly how you're going to be seeing your own pick and you can see you use your thumb to put it out to put it back out in playing position and then you just use your forefinger to curl it into the crease of your second knuckle so you can extend your forefinger a little bit and then it just slides right to its perfect spot and it's very quick i'm going to do a few quick exchanges here and what you're going to see is that you don't extend the forefinger so far when you're doing it fast and after a while it just becomes reflex very handy. It turns out Alan Holdsworth switches the pick in exactly the same way. And there's the switch. And just for time's sake, I'm going to make a cut here. And you can see him switch back. Watch the thumb. There it is. Switches right back to the playing position. So this next technique is the way Eddie Van Halen would palm the pick. And it's really easy, actually. Um, the reason why I'm showing you my hand before I'm showing you a video of Eddie is that most of the videos, if not every one that I've seen, never seems to focus on his hand when he's palming the pick. And mostly the cameraman was worried about his left hand for some reason. I mean, can you blame him? I, I guess I can. <laughs> so as you can see, the pick just slides right up the second finger, rests in the crease of your second knuckle, and it abuts right to your hand. Lots of fancy words to say, just slide the feckin' pick right up to your hand and close your second finger. So you'll be able to brace the neck and do all the tapping that you want, you know, bracing it with your thumb and your fourth finger and rock on. So this switch is gonna happen fast right here. And then he's gonna do a bit of tapping and you can see how just holding the pick with your second finger, it's gonna allow you to have all of that leeway and the switch is going to happen back right there seamless now this one happens really quick boom there's a switch and a little bit of tapping and here we come back there we go chris's method is much like alan holdsworth and eric johnson's version except he flips the pick upwards i actually found it kind of difficult to do myself here you can see that the point is facing straight up and he is flipping it straight back down into the playing position. Totally an idiosyncratic move, but it's doable. So the magic here lies in the thumb. As you can see the thumb moving up to the top, which puts the pick into the first crease of your knuckle, the underside of your knuckle, and that allows the top of the pick or the point of the pick to face upwards. And it's... Like I said, it's idiosyncratic. 
it's totally doable and the pick is actually a lot more stable than it looks because it looks like it's just you know <laughs> being held by just one corner um okay well it actually is but the pick isn't going anywhere um you're not going to be doing any pete townsend windmill strums <laughs> The pick ain't going anywhere. So this technique I show all of my students. It's very easy and straightforward. So the first thing you do is you point and you just let the pick go right to your second finger and then you cover it with your thumb. So check it out. It's very, very dependable and you can do it very fast and you have access to your fingers, you know, to, to do arpeggiation or, you know, comping or whatever it is that you want to do and you can really make this pick switch very very quick guitarist helen ebay does this really really well okay this one is much like the one we just did except that you keep the pick in your first finger and you have fingers two three and four to arpeggiate or comp or whatever say hello to your mom and this one is actually very quick too because the pick doesn't have to be really moved much to get into position, which is in the crease of your first knuckle and just beyond the second. And you guys got to check this one out too. As if you don't have enough <laughs> already to do, um, I think that this one is a viable... Oh, here's some speed. Oh, wait a second. An assist... There we go. This is really difficult to do without having a guitar and to have the camera right there. Oh, God. Assist again. Well, if anybody even made it this far into the video, that would be great. And guys, thanks so much for watching all of this. I hope that you've gotten something out of this, that maybe you found a technique that you want to try out. Oh, God, another assist. Oh, well. You know, you can't be everything to everybody, right? Thanks, lads.